Hello and welcome to studiodesigns.com tutorials. Here in Photoshop, I'm going to teach you how to create this wallpaper you see here. That's my finished product, and let's get started. So, create a new document, and let's keep the width and height around 800 to 600 pixels. I'll be calling this glowing wallpaper. Make sure you have a color mode set to RGB, and let's hit OK. Once you have that, let's size this up to around 80% here. Okay, once you have that, let's make sure you have set on the background layer and let's fill this in with the black color since I don't want the background set to black. Whether you keep your foreground color set to black and just using the pocket tool, if you have your gradient tool selected, you just click and hold on this icon and just roll over the bucket tool and release you get the bucket tool selected paint bucket and make sure you have foreground set to black just click on it to fill I'll be showing you different techniques how to fill in the foreground and background color in a later tutorial so once you've done that let's create a new layer and let's switch to let's say the gradient tool for now it's not really needed you could just fill in the foreground color again what we basically would do now is just click and drag the gradient tool here on the document and you can see the gradient is added which was a dark gray, a combination of a gray and a dark gray selected. It doesn't really matter since you could even fill it with black or white. So what basically I'm going to do is using this layer selected, I'm going to filter and go to render, select fibers. Once you have done that, let's set this variance to around, let's make it. We are 22. Make, don't make the strength really strong, but you see a sharp, very sharp edges. Just make it really smooth somewhere around 1. Make the strength 1. Okay, once you've done that, press OK. And you see this effect here. What we're going to do for this is make sure you always switch to your move tool. You don't want really by mistake to drag in the gradient on this layer again. So, again, make sure you are on the same layer. Go back to filters and go to blur and select motion blur. Once you've done that, you see this effect which is having set to the angle 65 degrees. Make sure you are set to 65 degrees. So if it's not, you can just type it in here. And let's increase the distance way up to 998. You can see that cool texture effect there in the background. And hit OK. Once you've done that, let's zoom in 100% here. You could Rather select the percentage and type in 100% here, or you could simply make sure you are in the move tool and you are let's say selected here in the document. Just press Ctrl plus to keep increasing the zoom. Once you have this, let's apply the same effect we just applied again. So to do that, you either use a shortcut key Ctrl F or you could go to filter motion blur again. You can see that the shortcut is Ctrl F. Once you've done that, let's do it one more time. Okay, you see that nice effect there, looks like a metal. Now what we need to do is we need the same effect in another angle. So what we can do is, we just duplicate this layer by right clicking and select duplicate layer. Once you've done that, leave the name as it is, doesn't really matter now. Once you press OK, you see that we have two, if I move this aside, you see that we have two same layers of a copy. I'll control Z there. Let's turn this layer around. So press the Control T to use this transform tool and right click on it. Choose horizontal. We can see that the angle is completely turned. Hit enter to apply that effect. And once you've done that, shift your blending options with this layer selected. Change your blending options to overlay and you can see that both of them are overlaid. You can see the back and the one we just created. Okay, once you've done that, let's create a new layer and in the new layer let's make first let's join both of these layers here control click on both the layers press control e to merge them once you merge them let's duplicate this layer by right clicking duplicate layer and press on ok once you've done that let's may add another effect to this layer by going to the filter make sure you have your new layer selected filter blur radial blur and Make the blur method to spin. Let's set the amount somewhere around 80%. And 
and make sure you have best selected as a quality press on ok and you see that blur effect gets applied let's change this blending mode for this layer to soft light since we don't want a really hard effect on this once you have done that let's create as you already created a new layer we'll use the gradient tool and let's select this color here which is the default with photoshop the orange yellow to orange and just click and drag on your document you see that color effect comes make sure you change your blending mode of that layer to color you can see this effect here which blends in the background you have now let's create the lens which I showed you in the previous ones those lenses you can see that already our background is already to the one we created before okay now let's create a new layer and make sure you have your elliptical marquee tool selected make sure you set the feather to somewhere around 25 pixels and holding a shift key make sure you are on the new layer holding a shift key just click and drag to make a circle here and let's fill this with black so with your foreground selected alt backspace to fill in the foreground color once you've done that let's deselect this shortcut is again ctrl d let's add a lens effect on this using the filters again move switch back to your move tool go to make sure you are on the layer 3 of this feather we created here go to filter render lens flare and point the flare on the feather effect here we created the brush type of thing and make sure you are set to the default settings and once you've done that press on ok you see that lens flare which is movable now let's say you adjust it somewhere around here and now we change the blending mode of this layer to color dodge you can see that effect if we don't adjust the different settings let's say overlay won't work use linear color, color dodge to add this effect let's use this one and make another copy by just using a move tool roll over the layer here the lens hold your alt key and just drag this lens somewhere on this side once you've done that let's make this effect look exactly like this what we do for that is we go to filter blur motion blur and we don't really need to add 998 pixels let's add a small amount of somewhere around 10 pixels and you can see that effect comes you could actually change your blending options to different settings if you like it's best you switch to linear cut torch once you've done that you can add another copy of the same one by making sure you're on this layer again alt drag you can see the double arrow comes out you press the alt key by using the transform tool, control D, you could adjust the size and once you're done, press enter adjust this ok, that's how you created you can see both are nearly the same control minus to size as well so here we have our new wallpaper you could adjust them with any resolution damage you like so i hope you learned something on this thanks for watching